The Persian War in Herodotus and Other Ancient Voices by William Shepard. So this is a big chunk of a book um, which the author focus, focuses looking at Herodotus' work account of the Persian War and if you know anything about the Persian War or like his accounts of it, you know he's accounting it years after it happened and with a lot of the people who were there have been dead for here a number of years. So um, the author looks at how um, Herodotus um, like took account of the war, um, other sources, his in, um, the author's interpretation of her Herodotus' work and adding own what we know like with other sources and um, look critically looking at um, how Herodotus wrote it. Um, so he's like critiquing it. Um, and it's, this book is like good for those who are wanting to um, delve into the Persian War, Herodotus, or that time period, you are looking at a chunky book. Because um, you are looking at over 500 pages of information about Herodotus' works, illustrations. Um, most of them are at the end. Um, but yeah, you are looking at a lot of like information critiquing um, everything so so like he mentions like Herodotus' few detailed references to the philosoph philosophy and practicalities of the Chittimir warfare assume first-hand knowledge on the part of the reader and there it is with his substantial personal experience is not much more explicit so you're getting a little bit of like oh this is what possibly might have happened <laughs> um, So you're introduced to like um, different people like Cambus, um, Darius, you're getting um, some like primary sourcing, like wording of Horace's account and other um, sourcing. Um, and there's one like battle or, or whatever um, that had gone on for like a long time and Herodotus just passes it by with like one sentence saying oh it went on for like a long time and then you're like um, if I can find the screenshot here um, Artists may be signaling a degree of skepticism here. Mistreatment of heralds was regarded extreme sacrilege and led the guilty open to the avenging curse of their hero. Um, him, Herodotus, only including like few. Um, numerical information, so um, accurate numbers, um, but that can be debated either way that sometimes they may not actually um, 
count certain numbers where at another time they they may um The fighting went on for a long time, but Hieronymus covers it in just a few hundred words. Fewer than in his counts of any of the battles fought in 480 and 479, and a tiny fraction of the thousands of words written about Marathon by historians and common commentators up to the present day. So, he just... One line where other people a whole chapter or book about uh, a certain battle. So like the resources you, um, the author has um, categorized into certain areas, uh, the Trimian Naval Warfare, Hoplite warfare um, and a few other, like one or two other categories, and then um, with like you are getting maps and a few other um, images throughout the book, but at the end you are getting like um, physical objects like that shown and like places so you are getting a decent amount of information and a slight critical look at um, how Herodotus has um, explained the war so yeah, if that is of any interest to you, wow, I didn't really think I'd be talking this much about it, but um, yeah, the Persian War in Herodotus and other ancient voices, happy readings.